sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mesco Toys 112 Collective Iron Man. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So we do get the basic style box when it comes to the Mesco 112 line. So on the front of the slope cover here, on the top does say Iron Man, on the center says the Invincible Iron Man, on the bottom says 112 Collective Post Plate Display, and Marvel. And then on the bottom of the actual box here, we do get the warning and blah blah blah, so nobody cares about. Then here is the top of the box. And then on the one side of the slope cover, we do get a cool image of Iron Man's faceplate, and then same thing on the other side of the slope cover, then the back to show the promo images along with all of the accessories included with this figure and then you can remove the slip cover here and it does have the window displaying the figure and the accessories and then on the sides of the box is 112 collective and we do get the giant mesco toys logo on the back but anyway that is the packaging let's get this figure but to take a closer look at this classic looking iron man already taking a closer detail look and once again mesco absolutely destroyed it when it comes to the detail with another Iron Man figure and I don't know which one I like more the black suit or this classic red and gold armor more I mean they're both just as awesome they're the same figures just repaints uh, the faceplate and the helmet looks great faceplate you can remove which we'll go over later a nice clean paint where the black meets the gold I love that metallic gold and I love that like candy red that glossy red looks beautiful man very nice sculpt and paint detail. You can see a black wash and these sculpted lines there, which looks great. The uh, torso here, we have the arc reactor, which does light up. We'll go over that shortly. Very nice sculpt detail all throughout it on the sculpted lines. And certain parts of his armor are die-cast metal, just like with the other Iron Man figure. Uh, the midsection piece uh, isn't as glossy as the rest of the red, and it seems like it's a little off compared to this red here, the color. It's not really noticeable though unless you look really close at it but beautiful sculpt and paint detail on that same with on the back there this is where the light up feature is just like with the other ironing board man figure and then the belt piece is kind of like a zipper piece it's connected to this back piece and i like how it looks like there's little screws there i think that looks really cool same with up here as well and then we do get these huge like ring pieces around the arms and I believe this is die cast metal. The arms look great. Very nice sculpt. I love that gold paint. Same with like the gauntlet pieces. Those look awesome. And then the legs here. Beautiful sculpt detail and very nice metallic gold paint. I really dig the way that looks. It's kind of like yellowish but gold also. And then the, uh, the boots here. Beautiful paint on that man. I love the way that looks. And the sculpt looks awesome too. I like these little pieces on the back. One other thing you have to be careful of, just like with the other Iron Man, is paint rub or paint chipping off. You have to be extra careful uh, when it comes to that with beautifully painted figures like this. And then the feet here, very nice sculpt and paint detail. Once again, I like how you can see all the, like, the uh, little bolts or screws on there. Really dig the way that looks. And I have like, a piece of paint that chipped off right there, which kind of sucks. On the bottom, we do get two different peg holes and some sculpt work. But overall, like I said, once again, Mezco did a... Another beautiful job with another one of their Iron Man figures, and I can't wait to see if they make other armors, different like sculpts, different armors, you know what I mean? I'm very curious to see if they will make some more, because all these Iron Man figures so far turned out exceptionally well. But anyway, let's continue on. And real quickly, for those of you who like to see side-by-side -side comparisons, here is the new classic red and gold armor Iron Man with the exclusive... Model Armor 42, Black Armor Iron Man, and like I said before, they are the same exact figures, just a repaint. I love both of them. I don't know which one I like more. I always dug the black and gold armor more, and I do like how the black is mostly a matte finish with some pieces glossy, and then you have that gold, that metallic gold all throughout it. And then this one here is more of a classic suit Iron Man, which some people will prefer a lot more over the black suit. They're both just as awesome. You can't go wrong either way i mean this one just looks beautiful with that candy red paint and then the goldish yellow metallic paint as well and as you can see same sculpt and everything all throughout the figure both beautiful figures but anyway there's a quick side by side comparison let's continue on and now for the light up feature just like with the other iron man figure it is on the back right here and the black armor one this one didn't peg in that well and would, it would pop off very easily. This one's pegged in much more securely. So you do unpeg it. It's tabbed into the top. 
So you just do that. And we do have the switch right here to turn it on and off. It is included with the batteries, so you need a very tiny Phillips head. You just take that off, take that out. It shows you which way to put the batteries in. You put those in, put this back in, screw it on, and then you flick the switch down and turn it on, and you do have the light-up feature. And it's, it's really bright. It's not like a dull light or anything like that. And I do like the blue a lot more over the uh, reddish orange light that we got with the black armor iron man but very simple to uh to put in the batteries and use the light up feature but anyway let's continue on with this review moving on to the accessories we get a bunch of really cool stuff included with this iron man and it's the same stuff that was included with the exclusive iron man so first and foremost like usual we always do get a misco bag in case you're somebody who likes to store your accessories in there so we get that and we do get the misco Stand. So we do have the base, which is supposed to look like the arc reactor. We have the peg in case you want to peg the figure on the base. Then we do have the arm and the clamp in case you want to make the stand. So we do get that stuff. And then you can actually remove his faceplate. I'll show you how to do that right now. So you can remove the faceplate and it is magnetized. So you just take it off like so and put it on the top of the helmet and it stays on there. It won't fall off or anything like that and we do get a sculpted tony stark face underneath which looks all right definitely not mesco's best but it's it's decent the eyes are both painted looking in the same direction the goatee is sculpted and painted on there and everything i do have a little bit of red paint bleeding on his forehead and then you can see like the cushions from his helmet in there which have some nice sculpt and paint detail on them and then the faceplate here does have a sticker with some stuff on it which is pretty cool and then you just put it right back on and uh, definitely a cool little feature and sometimes the faceplate pops off when you articulate the face around which does get a bit irritating so we do have that cool little feature and then we also get two wrist rockets and then we do get two power pods with diffuser missiles and the wrist rockets here are some of my favorite accessories with these mezco iron man figures i really like displaying my uh, my figure with these on and they look great the missile looks pretty good nice Nice paint on it, it's pretty clean, and then we do get like an orange translucent plastic that goes from darker to a brighter orange. Then we do have a re rectangular peg on the end, which you peg in to his forearm or wrist, which I'll show you how to put on in a second. So we do get that, and then we do get the diffuser missiles here that go on his waist, and these look just as awesome. You can see the little missiles on the end, you get that nice orange translucent plastic that blends from darker to brighter, and the sculpt of it looks great too. I'll show you how to put these on also right now quickly and the way you get the wrist rockets on and diffuser missiles i'll show you the wrist rockets first and as you can see on the forearm on both sides you do have the peg hole right here for the rectangular peg on the wrist rocket and all you do is just peg that in like so and then there you go as simple as that and definitely my favorite accessory with this Iron Man figure. It's always cool to get like some wrist rockets with an Iron Man. Now for the diffuser missiles, you have to unpeg these ones and the black suit armor Iron Man, these were a pain in the ass to peg on and take off, but these ones are, are much easier to get on and you can only put them on this way. If you put them on the other side, they'll be shooting backwards, which I mean, you could do that too if you wanted to, but I mean, they look pretty damn cool once you have them on there and i never seen an iron man figure with something like that so we do get that stuff and then we also get seven different blast effects so we do have four flight effects here and you peg two of them into his hand and two of them into his feet or you could peg all four in his feet if you would really like to and these turned out really good the sculpt of them look great we do have the pegs on the end of course it's just a little issue two of mine don't have as much blue paint as you can see the one on the left the one on the right the other two do have more blue paint on it and it looks much better like that i mean it's not that big of a deal but it is something that is a bit noticeable and it does blend in from the blue into that clear there so we do get those and i'll show you how to use those shortly and then we do get the repulsor blast so we do get two of these and once again great sculpt all throughout it we get that 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 translucent blue that blends in to the clear right there and the end over here looks pretty cool too there is the peg that you peg in to the hand and these are the same effects we got with the black armor iron man so we do get two of those i'll show you how to put those in shortly as well and then we do get the unibeam i believe it's called effect here and very nice sculpt all throughout it once again we do get the blue that blends in to the clear right there and you peg this on to his arc reactor and since he does have the light up feature you can use this 
with the light up feature on and I'll show you how to put this on and use that with the light up feature right now. And the way you get all the blast effects on will go with the Unibeam first. All you do is unpeg the arc reactor, just dig your fingernail under it and it'll pop right off and then you take this one line it up properly and there you go as simple as that and I love this accessory or effect that Mezco includes with this Iron Man and then you can turn uh, the light effect on as well let me turn the light off so you can see that it does shine through it a little bit which is definitely cool as you can see it does go through it. and the way they added these like rings around it it like adds to the effect of the light up feature so we do have the uni beam and now let's take a look at the blast effects and for the blast effects and the flight effects now for the repulsor blasts you need the open palm blast hands that have the peg holes on the repulsor there so you can peg in the repulsor blast which is definitely awesome and then for the flight effects you do the same thing with the hands just peg those in like so let me get this one on this hand here and then for the feet, you can peg them either in the front or by the heel. I like to peg them in by the heel. And like I said, if you want to put both of them in, you could do that as well. I mean, it's up to you, whatever you would like to do with your figure. And then there you go. You have the flight effects on the Iron Man figure. And they look dope. I, I love the effects that Mezco includes with their Iron Man figures. So we do get all those awesome effects. And then we finally get six alternate hands and starting on the top here we do get a pair of fists of course which do come on the figure out of the packaging and all the hands are very simple to swap out then in the middle we do get some open finger clenching type hands and finally we get the repulsor blast hands which do have the peg holes on the repulsor blast the repulsor blast on these two hands are painted blue which i definitely appreciate and they did paint them blue on the open hands as well and we get some beautiful sculpt and paint detail throughout all six hands but anyway that is all the awesome accessories included with this iron man let's keep moving on with the rest of the review shall we now for the height of mr stark's classic red and gold armor here to the very top of his head it looks like he stands around six inches and three quarters of an inch tall and then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Captain America and the Mark 50 Iron Man and the Misco 112 exclusive Iron Man and Gladiator Hulk. And as you can see, he is the same height as the exclusive Iron Man. And then here he is compared to the Revolt Tech Amazing Yamaguchi Magneto, the SH Figure Arts Thanos, the Marvel Legends Moon Knight, and the Misco 112 Popeye. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Smoke, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mafex Tactical Suit Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and we get some pretty good movement with this figure. Not the best, but it is definitely decent. So we do have two points at the neck here, the upper neck joint. You could get Mr. Stark to look up about that much, which is pretty good. Looks down decently with the upper neck, and then beautiful pivot there. Look at that pivot. And then, of course, it does swivel. The lower neck joint goes forward a pretty good amount. Gets hindered going back, though. So going forward, it go, goes down a lot. And if you have the chin out of the chest, he could look down about that much. If you tuck it in, you can get him to look pretty much directly down, which is awesome. Then both joints going up. Pretty good for flight poses. Then you do get very nice pivot at the lower neck, and then it does swivel as well. So very nice head and neck articulation. Then we do get a point of articulation at the torso under the arc reactor there. Goes back pretty good so it does help with the flight poses crunches forward just a tiny bit a little bit of pivot there not the best and then slight swivel the waist here just goes forward and back a tiny bit so with both joints he crunches forward that much and both joints goes back good like i said it'll help with flight poses uh very minimal pivot at the waist and then it really doesn't swivel too much at all so i wish there was a little more swivel in either the waist or the torso there now for the arms there's no shoulder joint you can't move it in a circular motion but they do go out to the side a little more than 90 degrees which is definitely good they do go up and down we do have the bicep swivel there double jointed elbows that bend in uh, about 90 degrees and we do have a ball hinge on the wrist so it does swivel and hinges back and forth now for the legs here we do have a little bit of a drop down leg joint doesn't drop down too much but it drops down enough so when 
you move the leg forward, you could tuck this piece of armor under the crotch piece so you can avoid paint rub. If you go up too much, you're going to start risking getting paint rub, but I mean, that's up to you. If you want to risk it, you can get it up a little bit more, but without risking it, you could almost get him to kick 90 degrees, which is definitely good. Uh, goes to the back just a tiny bit. And then let's see if Mr. Stark can Jean-Claude Van Damme it. And he almost can, which is definitely awesome. Then we do get an upper thigh swivel right here, which seems like it can get loose over time, so just be careful with your ironing board man figure. And we do have a double jointed knee that bends back pretty much all the way, so that's definitely good. We do have a boot cut swivel. Also forgot to mention, we do have a swivel at the forearm for these pieces here. Then for the ankles here, they do swivel. They hinge up not too much and really don't hinge down at all. And then we do get a pretty good ankle pivot. Not the best, but it's it's definitely decent. And I do have some more paint chipping right there. But overall, I, I think Mezco worked in the articulation pretty good. Some points I definitely wish were a little bit better. But I mean, Mezco isn't really known for outstanding articulation. But this Iron Man, you'll be able to get him in some decent Iron Man like poses and I'm about to show you some of them right about now. But anyway that is my review of the Mesco Toys 112 Collective Classic Suit Iron Man. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10 I definitely have to give it an even 9. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure I did get mine from Ageless Geeks so you can head over to their website at agelessgeeks.com or I would highly recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. the bottom of the actual box <laughs> the other side same thing as the one side then the back of it does sh and the back of it does sh stop damn it that's the second time I messed that up what the hell's wrong with me Severin Severin <laughs> what the heck Severin I did it again what the hell Severin oh my god what the hell is wrong with me Severin, what the hell is going on? And the way you get the wrist rockets on and the other things that I forgot what they're called. It's definitely one of my favorite accessories with this Iron Man figure. Whoops, it fell off, you son of a beep. On the palms, and they did paint the arc reactor, or arc reactor repulsor blasts. Damn you!